Hello YouTube, my name is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Recently I picked up a Grizzly G4000 metal lathe and today I'm going to build a workbench for it. I'll be using half inch MDF and I'll be gluing and screwing the two halves together to make a one inch thick surface. You'll notice in this video I have some different transitions. I'm playing with Adobe Premiere Elements. I really want to get the picture in picture capability that's the main reason for the move. So here I am applying the wood glue to the surface using a putty knife. This is a pretty interesting do-it-yourself table design. I first seen this probably 20 years ago. Now it's time, let's screw it together. So with this process I'll be wrapping the exposed outside edge with oak hardwood. The oak will be raised above the edge of the table approximately an eighth of an inch. I want to give a shout out to my buddy John. John suggested using Adobe Premiere or Adobe Premiere Elements for editing. After a little bit of a learning curve, I'm able to edit. I was still having problems with the narration, but I figured that out this morning. So here we are, we're cutting some oak on the table saw. This will be for the uh, left edge of the table. I'll be attaching this wood to the side of the table with wood glue and pin nails. Just a few more cuts and we'll be ready to install this edging. So John has a YouTube channel as well and I'm going to leave a card at the end of video. If you guys have a minute, he does some outdoor stuff and outdoor recording and really you ought to go check out his channel. Now the reason we raise the oak about an eighth inch above the edge of the side is because we're going to install peel and stick tiles as a work surface on top of this table. You may notice I'm installing this wood with all the saw cuts in place. It will give it kind of a rustic look, but I am going to sand it as it's installed and finish it before I install the tiles. I also want to give a shout out to Ron Hamp. Uh, who when I was a teenager allowed me to work in his wood shop and taught me everything I know about working with wood. To make sure that the peel and stick tile sticks properly um, I'm using a slightly damp cloth to wipe up all the wood glue and uh, sawdust that may be left over. Quick note this water will be fully dried before attaching the tiles. Come to think of it Ron, I built quite a few workbenches in your garage as well, a long time ago. Now it's time to do some quick sanding on the rough sawn oak. Now I'll be applying a clear finish to the oak. This is a quick drying enamel and it works really good. And you may notice here I'm not really that concerned about overspray. Uh, this will all be covered up with the peel and stick tile. So now it's time to install the tile. This was left over for another project that I did in the basement uh, so I didn't have to purchase any. And that's it. And now you have a nice custom sized tabletop. And as soon as the table's done, I'm going to go ahead and put it to use. Here's the Grizzly G4000 lathe that I just picked up. You can see the video on my channel. And while I have the saw out, might as well go ahead and make a tool table to hold all the lathe tools. These are leftover laminate top parts uh, for my buddy Andy. This is the same surface material that my main workbench is made out of. This is going to be a raised table and it will sit behind the lathe and have the tools at hand height. I intend on drilling holes in the top to hold the tools. I'm just doing a little layout now. And here's the completed table. I also moved the Kennedy toolbox to this workspace as well. I'm going to leave you with a few pictures of the completed project.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.